Hello everyone, Tina here. In this video, we are going to show you how you can add watermarks to your social images when you schedule images via the social media planner. Why would you want to do that? Well, there are a few reasons. Number one, you want to protect your brand and your content, right? Sometimes there are Instagram accounts or other social media channels that repost or rip off content, which is not a bad thing. Sometimes you want other people to repost your thing. However, if there would be a watermark on it, that would actually increase your brand awareness. So everyone who sees the reposted content will also see your little logo or even your URL. It can also protect your copyright and ownership that signifies, hey, I own this piece of content. It will also help you to establish this really consistent brand recognition, which is very important if you're trying to establish your online presence. So within our social media planner, we have different options to what include into the watermark. You could include your website or funnel URL, your social media handle, maybe some hashtags related to a certain campaign or even just your logo. So let me show you real quick how you can do that. So on your location, you want to hover over to marketing on the left, social media planner at the top, and then you want to click on the settings icon on the right, right here. Then you will see the watermark section over here, which is brand new. Click on it and you can see the watermarks, which we have already uploaded. At this moment, we support one particular watermark. So let me delete this real quick and show you how to create one. Add watermark, add a watermark name, let's say flower. And then we need to upload this image. So please make sure it's 200 by 200 pixels. You can create that easily in Canva. And then here under alignment, you can dictate if it's on the left, if it's on the right, if it's in the middle, if you want to move it up or down, or maybe want to put it right in the middle. I like it just in the top left corner. That looks very nice. Then we can adjust the opacity and the scale. So let's start with opacity. It's at 50% right now, as you can see it. I think it's a little bit strong when we can reduce it a little tiny bit. Yeah, I like that. Then the scale, that just means the size. So how big do you want this icon to be? I like it a bit smaller like this. And then you can turn on or off auto padding, which dictates how much space is between the logo and the side when the image ends. See the difference here? This is padding turned off and this is padding turned on. Then hit create. And now you can see our watermark has been added right here. If you wanted to edit it later on, you can do so by clicking here and adjust it, move it to the right, like I just showed you up or down. Okay. Then we want to head over to our social account and start posting create new post. Let's say we post on our Facebook page and down here under advanced options, you can turn this on or off. So it doesn't have to be applied to all of the posts. If you want to post a few posts without a watermark, you just switch this toggle off. Please note the watermark will be applied for all the social media accounts and currently only works for images, not for videos just yet. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one.